So Sue the chef. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to the show. So uh, yeah, sorry to sorry to disappoint. I don't have the great set like I usually do. I'm not in like my my master hub studio. Um, I'm I'm like triple quarantining now. But uh, but um yeah, uh, Sue the chef, uh, Virginia based musician, music producer, right? Yeah, pretty much. And and uh, you you reminded me. I think you and I. And a couple of my buddies, uh, a couple of my colleagues, we uh, we we ran into you in Fredericksburg, and and you pat you handed us one of your uh, your CDs, EP, or yeah, it was kind of like a demo tape, just like a demo out there. demo CD, and uh, pass it off because they're my my two colleagues, they're like the music managers or semi music managers, uh, Chris. Um, AKA MC Techfall. He's he's a mu musician, music producer, um, and so I'm, I'm pretty sure he's got that CD still. He's in Fredericksburg, so at some oh, point okay. you guys, at some point you guys definitely got to link up and maybe collaborate on some stuff. And, yeah, most definitely. But uh, but since you're here on the show, we, we now we definitely have all your information. <laughs> We're, it's not going to slip through the cracks now, and I think. I think I, I think that's how I connected with you because I, I think I kept your card. Like there was information, like you had like a postcard. Yeah, I had like a, um, all of my social media, mm -hmm. um, email, phone number was on that. So I just made sure. You know what I, I think, that. you know what I think I did? I said, dude, save the paper. And I think I added all your stuff right there and then in person. But I think uh, it was either Durko or, or, or Chris Took, oh, your, okay. took your CD. Um, it was, it was, it was something like that. But I remember the night very well. And but, um, honest, yeah. honestly, it was like just out there, just finding people. Yeah. You know, just listeners for real, organically, versus yeah. just going out there purchasing a whole bunch of streams and you know these fictitious, fictitious fans. You know, everything is organic. No, you're absolutely right. And uh, I mean, listen, it worked for Ice T back in I think '88 or '87. Selling it out the trunk. He, he was selling out the trunk, and yeah. uh, that's how a lot of guys were doing it in New York. And Ice T was doing it, and he made a big deal about how that's really what kicked him off into music was, you know, just a basement studio or whatever the whatever the case. And yeah, so I mean, and it still works. And when I see when I when I see guys like you, in the independent artists walking around with a CD, like, hey, listen, this is the, this is where I would spend, you know, ten bucks. I mean, you were giving it out for free, which is even better. So, <laughs> but that's yeah, awesome. So yeah, man. It's like it's like planting a seed for situations like this, you know. Absolutely. So you never know how many other people might call and, and say hey look i like the album or just give an opportunity if they can or see and then it, um you know just just a little brief introduction since then um just been starting a label um doing the business aspect of it getting the paperwork right and just taking my time with this thing i'm actually working on new material another album or ep so it's just really taking my time and just letting it marinate and sizzle just for us, just for it to be ready to, to be out there on the mass scale. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, like I've got colleagues in, in, in music and this, the, the quarantine really hasn't impacted them too much on a negative scale. I mean, how would you say you've been impacted? Have you been, have you found, have you found more time to be creative and, and more time to be productive? Um, I would say, yeah, a lot of time because before COVID, it was just work, work, work and busy, busy, busy. You know what I'm saying? No, not really enough time to like really be creative, you know? So during this COVID period, just really taking the time, educating myself, you know, doing different things to to better not only myself, but society as well. And sure. I feel like music is universal and it's another healing tool that we all need, you know, on a positive light versus the negative. Definitely, definitely, yeah. And and 
listen, uh, you know, I love, I love my colleagues. I love my partners and, and they've made some tracks that I'm like, you know, I'm polite to them about. And I'm like, yeah, you know, like I, I see you're, you're kind of working on your skills, but I might like, might not like the tracks, but in the yeah, last, that's understandable, you know. But, but in these last Each six months, exactly. But in these last six months, I've seen a lot of progression with my colleagues and, and with, with some other musicians. I've seen a lot of progression, a lot of uh, fine tuning of that sound, of that formula. I I guess that's what I kind of call it, that formula or that sound or that taste. You know, everybody's got a different taste. Everybody's got a different kind of formula or 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 uh, sound right um and so like especially mc techfall aka chris my buddy chris has really been refining his technical skills his formula and his like creative kind of sound and i've noticed that in a couple of recent tracks and it's just like it blow, blew me away i'm like bro i don't know what you're doing but you're doing it, keep doing it, that sort of deal, you know? And, you know, it's, it's, it's been a rough nine, 10 months for a lot of people. It's been a yeah. shit, it's been a, yeah. it's, it's been a shit year. And even the beginning of this fucking year, man, it's been, it's been shit for a lot of people, even, even for myself. But at the same time, you know, this has definitely been an opportunity for me. And like I said, my, my tight knit, you know, kind of group, my creative group to, you know, still stay productive, still stay active, creative, kind of get, kind of get ideas brewing for when we all have a vaccine and the floodgates open and we're all semi immune to this COVID thing, kind of like we're semi immune to the flu. And, uh, you know, get, get the ball rolling on some, on b some big things down the line, you know, but, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. but, uh, what's, uh, what's, what's next on the agenda, uh, for, pursue the chef. What's, what's next on the agenda? What's the next, what's the next set of goals? What's the next set of plans? What's, the, what's, what's the next, what's the grand agenda? Well, not too grand. I don't want you to give too much away, but what's, <laughs> what's the semi grand agenda for say 2021? 2021 is more progress, you know, more, more music, more, you know, just reaching different artists, different musicians, like creating solid sounds versus just using loops and, and all types of, you know, easy things. I want to get into actually playing the piano, playing the guitar, playing the bass you know, all of these fundamental things, playing the drums and actually coming out with a live concrete sound. And I'm closer now because I would say pre-COVID, I was a novice after playing the piano. Like during this time, I've just been learning this stuff, learning new equipment and, you know, finding myself on the other side of the music is like real estate, um, just learning that, just educating myself as much as possible. Yeah. Um, economics, um, the list goes on. So my my one year goal for this year, short term goal, in a nutshell, will be building building my brand, Bob Coast Recordings. Um, I actually have a GoFundMe account. Um, you know, if you guys out there or you or yourself or your partners want to, you know, take a glance at it, it's called Vibe Coast Recordings on GoFundMe. And just really just networking and just building bridges, you know, building strong foundational bridges that, you know, that can, can last forever, you know. I think, I believe, not only think that this is it, you know, the right energy, the right attitude, the right focus is going to get me to that end result. And that's going to, and ultimately, is just reaching a, a wider audience and fulfilling, you know, this music because it's my passion, my goal to, to express it, you know. And I feel like COVID is just in a way of that. It took away the, the 
bars. I would, yeah, pretty much the bars, the, the venues, you know, things of that nature. Now it's just street vending now. So even that is like, you know, hit and, hit and miss, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's really just getting all the pieces together. But next, next year's run, right now is just baby steps, you know, learning the business aspect as much as possible, learning the real estate factor, and learning more music. Yeah, I mean, um, everything has its ups and downs. And, you know, even though I tested positive for COVID, right before I got the first, I got the first shot, the Moderna, the Moderna vaccine shot, you know, through my unit, through my National Guard unit. So I got the first Moderna shot. And, you know, so when you're supposed to get the second one, you know, like say 30 something days after the 30, 30 something days after you get the second shot. And of course, in the briefing, they're saying, you know, like, well, hey, if I get if I got both shots of the vaccine, do I have to do the masking? And the, and, and the briefing was like, yeah, this whole thing, the, the social distancing, the masks, the, the 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 minimal, you know, contact you know, uh, what, what's that called? Uh, no contact, all that sort of social distancing. Yeah, um, contactless. Con- type con- of stuff. Yeah, con- that type of stuff. Listen, basically, he said everything we were doing in 2020, consider it in 2021. 2022, wow. is, 2022 is when we're going to go back to a semi hybrid, old normal, new normal type. Just, just, Consider 2021 the same exact thing we did in 2020. 2020. Wow. Yeah. Basically, man. And it's it's only going to get worse. We got, you know, all the psychopaths and the lunatics doing the dumb shit that they're doing at all the capitals and, and uh, you know, all this, you know, horrific it, idiots, the, these just stupid morons going out there and they're spreading it. And they're the reason why I got it. Wow. <laughs> you know so what I mean? was out there that day? I wasn't out there Wednesday. I was out there Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday. So, so we, after. yeah, so we were all on shit. We were on different shift works and the, and the day that the, the, so, you know, I'm, I'm blessed and, 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 you know, thank God, you know, uh, you know, so, so somebody, something was looking out for me. I wasn't, I wasn't out there on Wednesday, and uh, you know, it, it's unfortunate that what happened happened. But when we went back out there Thursday, you know, I, I don't know. I must have got, uh, you know, I must have gotten come into contact at some point, you know, somewhere Tuesday or Thursday. There's no way of knowing. Um, got you. But uh, oh, man. you know, on and off and on and off, and you know. My unit, my unit's always been looking out for me because uh, me and my wife, we have an infant kid. We never really had any, due to quarantine, due, due to COVID and quarantine, we never really had the family care and, and the daycare and the child care structure. We never vetted babysitters. We never, we never really, you know, had a chance to fully vet daycares. You know, we do have this one daycare kind of system that, you know, that we do have, but we never vetted babysitters. We never let all these different friends come over and, and uh, you know, like somebody would have in 2019 and 2018 and 2017. Hey, can you help me? Hey, uh, you know, like, you know, her friends might come over and help look after, you know, the kids one day and then we would return the favor but now that's out the window like that's unheard of nowadays so it's yeah pretty it, much so you know it's I, I know there's a lot of other folks in the same boat but you know it's been really rough on me and the wife just no family care no child care set up except for me and her because it's just been me and her hands on with our kid from day 1 we brought he was born February 29th he's a leap baby brought him home oh, okay brought him home march 5th or 6th and then i think a week later it was quarantine 
nobody wow. nobody else has come over and we've had her we've had her parents come over quite a few times to help out but they're seniors you know they're higher they're 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 uh they're at risk you know so there were a number of times where i had to go on orders for the national guard or i had to go do this or i had to go do that they said we you know we'll we'll come over and help out what when and when and however we can but you know they're seniors. They they they're they're not professional babysitters. They're not. Yeah, they're, that's they're, true. You know they're they're not. I, I mean, listen, this kid's huge, and I'm I I I I've blown my back out a couple of times trying to lift this kid up out of the crib. <laughs> he's a wow. big he's a big baby. So, but you know, like you said, these are rough times. But at the same time, it's finding that middle ground it's finding and it's finding that those moments to where like this is where our energies can be spent still being creative still um planning forward you know putting 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 little pieces into motion putting little uh you know formulas into motion so that that when the floodgates open yeah, man, that's that's the way you got to do it now because you can't, you know, stay too much, I guess, in it now and in that essence because it's more so like you just got to take, take that thought and just expand it so that you can map it out better. Yeah. But still stay in it now or present, as, as I should say, and just just work your way through it. And each, you know, on your path is ups and downs and twists and turns and, you know, many bends and, and breaks. Just gotta keep going, man. It's not easy. You know, it's, it's very tough and challenging. But you just gotta tell yourself every day that, you know, God got your back, you know, you gotta have faith. And yeah. that's how I live my days, you know. So, so, you know, we, we, we kind of touched upon, you know, the next agenda and that sort of thing. What's the, what's the new year, new you, the, the new normal, the new year, new you, new normal, new hybrid normal. What, 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 what's, what's that for you right now? The new, the new normal. The new year, like, you know, that phrase, new year, new, yeah, new year, new me type of thing. <laughs> and, it's, and it's even, I, I, and it's even trickier. It's even more complex. It's even more, you know, like mind that mind boggling, but what's the, say, what's the new normal, new, you, new, 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 new year, new, you, new normal, <laughs> you know, I would say like pretty much just staying positive um, in terms of, you know, the mental aspect. Um, I would definitely say like just focusing on this business, Five Coast recording the label, you know, that I pretty much eat, breathe, and sleep this stuff. You know, music is full time now. Yeah. You know, the reason why I say this is because it's like everything is crashed and everything is in limbo. So, you know, I go out for a job and next thing you know, I'm back at square one again. Because everybody, majority of these companies either going bankrupt or just figuring out their their finances at this time, or maybe last year, for reference. But it's it's just like it's not really worth it to go out there, you know, risk your life, your family. You know, I'm pretty sure in your situation, you'd rather be home with your kids, you know, and that's that's the true beauty of it. You know, just making the right choices in order for you to, you know, better protect yourself and your family and your loved ones, you know, and just stand positive through it, even through the adversity. So it's like, it's it's challenging, it's mind boggling, but you just got to keep going. Yeah, it was, it, I mean, it was tricky for us. I mean, for for me and the wife, I think it was just with every step forward, it was two steps back, you know, and, and, and there was so many, there were so many times where I just kept trying to find ways of avoiding contact. And I kept, and, and I kept saying, you know, and, and, and my unit, my unit really looked out for me. 
and they said, listen, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get you on shift work. We'll get you on and off. We're not going to have you on 24 seven. We know, we, we know you're struggling with the child care. They really worked with my family care plan, my child care plan, that sort of thing. And still, That's key. That's but, key. but, but, you know, and, and it's still like, we still got fucked. I still caught it and still pass it to them. And it's like, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't type of deal. Yeah. And uh, so my question to you is um, with the shot, because, you know, you've got firsthand experience with it. So how, how does that work? The, the, um, it's like a, what it's like the a, side effects afterwards? So I don't know, <laughs> because I got it. <laughs> so <laughs> um, the side effects to the shot are some of the flu symptoms, but not all. So I mean, aches. Well, okay. So it was, it was, it was like a flu shot. So you're you're sore, you're 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 sore and tender in the arm. Um, there was no red flare up or anything like that, but it was sore. I think for a day. Like if you ever gotten a flu shot, it's sore for a day or two. Um, I started getting um, not a major cough, but like a couple of times, just like a <laughs> type of cough yeah. and then aches. And I'm thinking, I really hope this is just the side effect from the shot, but it turned out to not be because I, I must've gotten the shot. And then an hour yeah. or two, and then an hour or two later, while on duty, I w just got exposed to somebody who had it. So, so does my, it weaken your immune system? Does it weaken your no. immune system? No. The, the 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 shot doesn't so to the best of my knowledge and this is just based on the briefing you know a medical officer gave me the whole briefing there was a whole powerpoint for it the moderna shot has proteins of the coronavirus it has protein strands in it so when them when they're putting those protein and i think they're dead protein strands so it's not a live culture that they're putting inside your body. Oh, okay. It's a dead protein strand that, and, and, and also antibodies. But again, I'm not a scientist, but what stood out in my, what stood out in the briefing was that they're putting dead protein strands of the coronavirus in you so that your body recognizes. Fights it, which, yeah. The coronavirus so then you come in contact with the coronavirus you, you get infected with the coronavirus your body recognizes it and can fight it and the reason why a lot of folks are dying from it the reason why a lot of folks are having a really bad uh time recovery really really bad experience is because they don't have the antibodies or they don't have the they don't have proteins. the well what those proteins do is that it helps you it helps with your body's receptor process of recognizing because okay so the flu vaccine right it's got antibodies it's got like you know flu dead flu protein strands and it helps your body recognize the flu so when you get the flu you don't die from it your body goes into ultra immune blockage and that's why you get congested that's why you get aches that's why you get chills you, that's your body fighting off this virus all the suffrage that you go through is not what the virus is doing to you but it's what your body is doing to fight it off chills fever aches congestion cough sneezes nausea all that that's your body fighting it off and then when you take vitamin C, your body, that builds your immune system even more, right? All these different like immune vitamins, immunity, immunity boosters, all that, all that stuff helps even more so that you experience those suffrages less. But by you having those receptor devices in your body, that helps you recognize it and fight it. And so, and that's, and, and, by no means am I a scientist, am I a medical, you know, specialist, am I a medical officer in any way, shape or form? I'm not, a, I'm not, but that's basically to the best of my knowledge, what was briefed to me and given to me. And so as far as, as far as the vaccine for COVID goes, right? 
they're putting these dead protein strands in your body so that your body recognizes and do job. Well, and fight it off. Right, because a lot of folks did not have those receptors, did not have those pre-injected receptors. We've never had a vaccine for COVID. It's a brand new virus. And so people were dying. People were getting their asses kicked. And now, even more so, even if people aren't having vaccines, if people are really, really suffering, they have other antibiotics, they have other uh, you know, forms of medicines that they can, uh, you know, cocktails that they can give people to, to help fight off um, some of the detrimental health risks. So but, do you think that we had our final days with this COVID, COVID stuff? I say like mid years, you should find like a true answer. How many, how many, how many, how many, how many, how many years? I would say like mid year, mid year, mid 21. I, I mean, listen, like March, April. I think, I think we, we really have come a long way advanced wise. And as far as the answers, uh, mid year. Yeah. But we're not going to be done with all the precautions and the social distancing and the corn and the, and the, and the, and the you know, shelter in place, you know, so the social distancing, the quarantine in the house, the general quarantining, you know, you're quarantining. I'm like super quarantining now, but you, you know, a month ago I was like general quarantining with the family, like you are at, at your house, you know? And so we're going to be doing that all throughout 2020, 2021. Wow. You know, I'd say new year's 2022 is where it's like, okay, we can start going back things heard, uh, heard, heard immunity or something like that say again herd immunity herd immunity yeah that's when like everybody's like immune to it and everybody could come together just some dr fauci stuff seeing them I, I'm not familiar with herd. You mean herd immunity, like a herd of cows, like a like a herd of animals? Yeah, oh, like, okay, okay, like a mass. And then like, everybody's immune to COVID or immune to everything. But yes. I mean, listen, again, I'm a layman. I'm not Dr. Fauci. I'm not a <laughs> I'm, I'm, but I'm, 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 I'm kind of like OCD and anal enough to, to, to just multiply everything by a times and a half. So people are talking about like, oh, 2021 this and 2021 that, that, 2022. That's the year. And the second they start saying 2022, I'm like, all right, 2023 then. That's for me and my family, you know? I got you. You know, so it's like- it Makes sense. Yeah. Because I mean, it's for me, it's better safe than sorry type of deal, man, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 just, it's just tricky. You gotta look out for your family. You gotta look out for yourself. You gotta, Oh, but it's okay. You can come out to this one thing. I'm like, nah, man. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll get it going again in a year, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. But um, yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, from your standpoint, what's, what's one last bit of advice, one last point you'd want to make? So what, oh, few, uh, what few viewers I have? I think I have a few viewers by, by this point. I don't know. But uh, a few ideas. <laughs> My, uh, well, what's one last point, one last bit of advice you'd want to make to our viewers? Um, to your viewers, it's like, hey, Sudi Chef is here, you know, dead on pictures, you guys are great. And honestly, like, I'm really trying to get into film, like doing scores and stuff. And like, I, I think I talked to you yesterday, yeah. um, the license and stuff. I want to get into that. that that's going to be the key just to get the music out, get it heard, get it seen, versus just the musical industry by itself. You have the whole film and TV and another arena that, that's dying and, and like really needing music, you know, for scores, commercials, um, even video games too, you know, don't sleep on those. That's a huge market. Um, so I would say, the view is like invest, invest, invest. Um, five post recordings. Um, we building it from the ground up, and only the sky's the limit. Man, I appreciate you guys for even having me on, having me on, and taking the time to talk.
Well, hey, man, I appreciate you. I mean, another DMV artist, another musician still making music. Um, yeah. Uh, and, oh. and, yeah. And, and like I said, uh, you know, the music man is, is uh, uh, as far as far as, you know, my group goes is, is, is Chris. So definitely, you know, tie in with him. I'd love to have, you know, more artists collaborate with us outside the podcast, you know, like as far as dead on pictures and zombie squad and, and, uh, you know, vibe culture, you know, that collaboration, you, you coming on with us, um, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Chris I'm gonna let Chris take the lead on that um, okay. <laughs> because, because he's he's the music man he, he'll start it, when he starts mentioning you know what is it Ableton or 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 machine or 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 Akai yeah, the Akai. Akai yeah, yeah the Akai, yes it's those are those, those are like uh, what what do you call it those are uh, talking oh. those are th those are those are the uh the the golden words that i always remember him mentioning you know so so you guys would have a lot more to talk about as far as that goes and and, and teaming up and and co-producing or, or whatever the case and uh, yeah that's I'm, dope I'm man more than, i'm more always than... down for a lot absolutely um also um social plugs um instagram suited chef bobcoastrecordings.com it's um b-i-b-e coastrecordings.com and what else we got twitter same thing through the chef five post recordings um youtube spotify all streaming platforms you can add me on there um another thing too man i just wanted to take this time to to really spread love and, and peace because we all need it man we all do just trying to find a way to, to, to bridge these gaps in terms of understanding and coming together. Absolutely. So I, I appreciate you guys, man, once again. And it's not going to be my last time or first time, so we're going to still keep in touch. Absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. Well, Sue, I can't, I can't thank you enough for coming on. Um, you know, it was inspiring. Um, good to have, uh, I think you're, I had a round table yesterday. You're my first guest, uh, you know, during in, in super bunk, in super bunker <laughs> quarantine. You're my first guest in super bunker quarantine. So uh, if I was dragging, if um, you know, if uh, if if my head was you know not in the right place, uh, f thanks for <laughs> thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for being like point me in the right direction, man. But um, you know, it's it's nah, great. Baby, that's that's what we all here for, man. To help each other out. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, you, you heard it here. Uh, Sue the Chef, again, can't thank you enough for coming on. And uh, I look forward to um, having you back on the, the show, hearing some of your music. Uh, to my viewers, check out Sue's links in the description below, all his socials, uh, his, his, uh, his music on his streaming platforms, all in the description below. And uh, again, to my viewers, I hope I've earned the privilege of your time and viewership. I know my guest has. Until next time, you know what to do. All right. Thank you, guys, man. I appreciate you. And also